my fellow gamers and welcome once again to Battlefield of Eidos. Today we are continuing with Detect Corp, but as today the game came out, this is no longer a preview, it's more like a let's play. So from now on these videos are going to be called let's plays. And going back to the game, we can see uh, that our engineer is finishing up the blueprint for additional parts. He should be able to finish this before he runs out of energy. He just did. I sent him on a break. And uh, the researcher who is researching utility tech gen 5 needs to research a few more before we can do another of these blueprints. But he's already down to 30 energy. So we're just going to give him a little bit of time to actually stop uh, doing this. Let's go. There we go. Gonna break. So I'm just going to do what the game has advised me to do and uh, get a researcher to do uh, features research. Now, because I already have one researcher doing uh, the uh, utility uh, tech uh, generation 5, I need to get another one of these researchers to actually be able to do the extra research with him. So I'm going to find uh, myself a new researcher and buy myself a new desk to actually have a place for that researcher. Now, the thing is that when you look over here, I do have a piece of equipment here that's actually a copy over from the factory and this is a known bug that is now in the uh, 1.4 of build. So uh, if you see something like this, it doesn't affect gameplay, it's just there, but uh, it creates kind of a problem uh, just uh, visually. Now, if we go to the uh, factory and we look at the manufacturing contract, we can see that I need storage, input, RAM and batteries. So now I can go one machine uh, and then uh, the other one and all four and have them produce the necessary items. So storage, which requires uh, silver and aluminum, aluminum times three. So I need to go here and find aluminum. Uh, that means around 40,000 units of aluminum are required for 13k storage pieces and I think it said silver up silver around 14,000 silver now I need to do this uh, for all the next time so I'm just going to jump in time when I finish this so I got all the necessary materials and I have set the machines each to work on one piece of this uh, requirement for the manufacturing contract I'm going to go back to the office and see about that new researcher so I already have a good candidate here this one is actually better 50 42 five productivity but actually cost less than this guy so i'm going to hire this one and uh, put him on this desk and have him actually do the features research let's uh, find oh that's quite a list so if we are doing television sets and photo cameras what can we do next that would go well with our products let's say battery saver yeah that's a cool feature so features are created from modules then the add-ons are created from the features to create modules hire a lead developer and set them to work so we need actually a lead developer do we have any room to put a lead developer anywhere here i think not so somebody's gonna have to get fired and that's probably going to be a programmer if I'm not mistaken you take discovered features systems processor so this guy is working hard discovering more features that's excellent but like I said I'm gonna have to hire a programmer because I don't have any more room to set up any desks I mean I can try and get a desk here somewhere but I don't think that there's any room left yeah can't set that up anywhere you can customize reducing light intensity and uh, you can change the coloring uh, but like i said i don't really have any where to actually put this person at uh, okay so let's remove a programmer vanessa smith and vanessa smith is this one we'll have to fire her and uh, do another search for employees that would be the lead developer start recruitment and get him in the meantime we should take care uh, to see just how many of these have we made 8k now 
and do we have any candidates for the lead developer yes we do 30 30 50 40 bug fixing excellent we'll hire him and and now as we have a lead developer he can make us some modules so uh platform development we can see what are the requirements and let's say we do some ui modules now uh, we should create some add-ons. Add-ons are special features for our products, so make sure to create one that we can use on our next product. But how would I exactly know which add-on works on which product? I need to create two add-ons. Click on the software creation button at the bottom menu. Okay, now that makes sense. Features are created from modules, then add-ons are created from features. Okay, uh, so I need add-ons and features. So features are created for modules. I need uh, these, so system processor, data visualization, tools, and so on. Select a feature to unlock. Let's say we unlock system processor. We need QA modules, optimization modules, database modules, and we unlock this. For data efficiency, we can unlock as well. And tools, we can unlock this as well. So now I'm probably going to be running low on these things and I need to tell my personnel to actually start making more of these uh, components, software components that is. Let's see uh, who's actually doing the work. These are not, this one is. So let's say we go for more optimization components. Uh, okay, I think we're almost done here, close to it. Uh, the researcher is sitting here. That's our second researcher. We should give him something else to research when it comes to the features. Let's say data banks. And uh, we did give the lead developer not enough components. So I don't have uh, enough optimization components. So I should pick something else something that I do have enough components for. So let's say something that I do have. There we go, database modules. I have plenty of these so I can make database modules. There we go, we made a few. I think I can do also these and these and these. So I can make uh, all these different ones. Uh, but to create an add-on and release a product with an add-on, I need to actually go here, go to the add-ons, and then I choose one of these and see uh, just what do I need. So depending on uh, what I choose to research and uh, the features that I want to create, I have to actually have enough of these modules then uh, to be able to make these add-ons from uh, these features. So uh, let's see. Do we have the capability to build any of this? Uh, we do, Office Tools for a desktop, but we do need to make sure that we can actually make something for something that we can actually produce. This is a battery saver. We can unlock this and you can see for uh, what kinds of products does it uh, work for. So phones, tablets, laptops, portable console, dash cam, camcorder, photo camera. So photo camera, we already have that unlocked if I remember correctly. We can unlock the battery saver. If we get more optimization modules, we'll be able to unlock with the streaming. And uh, as we saw, we actually need to get another add-on done. Let's see here, which one can we unlock? Nothing at the moment. Actually, multiple controllers. But this is for other stuff that we actually can't produce yet. I think I saw something like dash cam. Nope, none of these. Photo camera, here we go, and phone uh, photo filters. We can unlock this, so we just created two add-ons. I need one more uh, research to be done when it comes to Gen 5 before my engineer can do more of uh, those. And I think RAM is finished. Inputs are finished and uh, storage is finished. So storage, stop producing. Inputs, stop producing. RAM, stop producing and we just need the batteries to finish production and we'll be able to do this manufacturing contract. There we go. Oops, we can deliver that. We just discovered more tech. Go to the office. 
we can see here that now we can research desktop hardware, mobile hardware, and a utility hardware Gen 6. I'm not going to go uh, with Gen 6, I'm going to now go to the mobile hardware. As for uh, the engineer, we can do some prototyping for generation 5. Give him that to do. And uh, when it comes to the other researcher, we can do more feature researching. Let's say we do something like an emergency dial for the phones that we are going to unlock. Now we need to release one product with add-ons. Now if I click here, I can check what else can I unlock. I need more optimization modules as we can see here. If you look at here, uh, we can sell these add-ons, but uh, we do not want to sell them. We want to actually be able to use them on our products. Now I do uh, seem to remember having a product for the camera that I could install these add-ons on, but let's just make sure to give the factory the, its next job. So storage once again, that was if I'm not remembering this poorly, yes, silver and aluminum. I'm once again going to jump you so you don't have to waste time watching me just order materials. Alright, so I got all the materials necessary in order to create these. So we just need to create 14,000 storage, 4K RAM, 7K displays and 9K audios. Now we can go back to the office and see uh, does anybody here needs a job. Uh, here we go, this guy does. Let's see, we can uh, let him do something that we actually require for add-ons. So let's see how to focus for a photo camera, machine learning and video streaming. Machine learning and video streaming, those require optimization modules. In order to make those modules, I need my lead developer to actually uh, create them out of optimization components, backend components and algorithmic components. So I actually need more backend components before I can actually make more of those. So I need to set the task for backend components when it comes to my programmers after of course they finish this one here so set them up to do backend components have we finished with the storage and audio yet not yet I need to wait for that to finish i think somebody just managed to finish something do we have enough now for optimization modules still not enough actually now we do have enough that's good backend and algorithms so can tell one of these teams to actually keep working on algorithms and the other one can work on the backhand. This isn't finished yet. Uh, the researcher is doing well as is the features researcher. While we're just waiting for uh, more of these components so we can actually go into the add-ons and now you can see that we can do video streaming or audio streaming and uh, this works for uh, add-ons if we want to create something with the add-ons we just need to find the features that we need uh, for those add-ons to work but uh, as i do now have the ability okay I should deliver this as i do have the ability to create a product with add-ons this is what i'm going to do but i am going to do this in one of the next videos as this one i think has covered enough thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more videos